Someone has been crying profusely. They lost something. Someone has been crying profusely. They lost something. But God says it's a setup. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is Pastor Honorine. I have a word to share with someone. And this word is coming to us from the book of Ruth. We see the story of Ruth, how she got married and her husband died. And she decided to follow her mother-in-law to back to Bethlehem. And she says, ah, you are, you are, you are, wherever you go, I will go. Your God will be my God. Your people will be my people. And God is saying, someone she gave up on marriage because at that point the mother-in-law told her i will not be able to give birth to another son for you to marry so go your way and and get married go back to your hometown go back to your mothers and get married and she refused so she didn't care about marriage anymore she had given up on marriage because her husband was taken she lost her husband and she went through that pain and she forgot about getting married. But God says, yes, you have been crying because you lost someone valuable. You lost something valuable. But God says that was a setup. That was a setup. That was a setup for you to receive better. Little did she know that God had a Boaz waiting for her. Yes, you might have lost your prodigal or your ex, but God has a Boaz for you. God has someone better for you. God has someone better for you. They are waiting for you right now. It's just that you might not be able to see it. And I know you're at the verge of giving up, but God says, trust him. He has something better for you. You lost that opportunity. You lost that job. Don't kill yourself over it. Don't cry your life out over it. Trust God. God has better coming for you. God has better coming for you. God has better. Who would have known that a Moabite was going to end up in the genealogy of Jesus? That a Moabite was going to end up as the great grandmother of, of David? Uh, we would never have seen this coming. Even Ruth would never have seen this coming. God had a better plan. The plan might not have been unveiled, but it didn't mean it wasn't there. God had a better plan. Hallelujah. I, Abigail, you lost your husband. You lost Nabal. But what you failed to understand is that God was the one that took his life. And sometimes we cry about people that left us, not knowing that God saw that you deserved better. Abigail, we see this in First Samuel chapter 25. Abigail was a good woman, a beautiful and intelligent woman. But she was married to Nabal. Nabal means fool. And the man was indeed a fool and the bible says god decided to take the man away and i can see abigail crying and saying oh god i've become a widow at this young age how am i going to survive without my husband how am i going to cope without my husband how am i going to and god is saying seriously with everything I put in you, you want to stay with the fool. I have a better plan for you. I have a palace waiting for you. And a king that is that have turned, whose heart have turned towards you. And, and I, I can hear God saying, Abigail, wipe off your tears. Wipe off your tears. This is not the end of your story. If Nabal didn't die, you would never have gotten stepped into your palace. If Nabal had not died, you would never have stepped into your palace. There is, there is breakthrough waiting for you. There is breakthrough waiting for you. There is a miracle waiting for you. There is a mighty testimony waiting for you. All it needed was for you to break out of that place where you have been held bound. 
all God needed was to take that person out of your life so the better person can step in, so the right person can step in, so the one who honors you can step in. It doesn't always mean things are going to be bad all the time. No. Sometimes we have reason to cry, but that reason to cry is the very reason why we are going to be very happy. I pray this world reaches the right person at the right time. God bless you. Shalom.